I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail and this is my husband Ben. Welcome to our channel Design Loves Detail where we share the best deals and ideas for your home. Today we're going to be revealing a new space from our basement uh, that we recently finished and it is the family room. So lots of cool details in here that I'm excited to share. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified of our next post when it goes live. So down here in our family room, we wanted to have kind of a relaxed feel um, and be really casual, but still inviting and, and, and of course, I mean, it still has to look nice. So a Always. lot of fun details, <laughs> essential, of course, um, a lot of fun details down here, like these arches. Um, I kind of wanted to mimic the arch that's in the kitchen uh, where I did that over the range hood. And this is a, is a similar look that is on either side here. And then we did an alcove to put the TV in. Uh, we couldn't put a fireplace down here and I wanted it to still have really cool interest. And so I think this was a great solution to, to bring a different detail that maybe you don't see as often. Now, there's currently not a TV, mm -hmm. but there will be. at some point there will be. Yes. This was the nicer looking option as far as how it looks. We have a fun space down here. This um, is really open to the, the kitchen area and then also the dining space that we did with the built-in banquette that I was so excited about to show you guys on our, our construction tour down here. And it really is um, great for guests and kind of a gaming area or just um, for eating and things. And you can kind of still- Hang out space. Yeah, still be connected to this space over here in the family room. Yep. So it's been uh, really nice that it's such an, a large open room. Yes, it gives the kids plenty of room to run in circles around furniture as well. Yes. Which is standard if you're a child. Very typical. And then um, the theater doors in here are a great accent. The color of those is, uh, it matches the cabinetry that I did in the kitchen, so it kind of ties that throughout. And then they're just such a statement piece. These are from a local company called Raw Restorations and it's a family owned business and I love working with them because I can just send them any drawing or picture that I want built and they can do it. They're just so good with woodworking and that I just can't say enough good things yeah, about. Yeah, the doors are really cool. And they, they were um, quick at building them. Anyways, so check them out if you're looking for any type of, they do really cool wall art with inlaid wood and then also custom doors like this, all kinds of barn doors and sliding doors. So, oh, I'll link the track for you guys as well because it is a brass, um, track, which is, I think, really unique, and it's actually pretty reasonably, reasonably priced, too, so pretty cool. With the furniture that we brought down here, we actually used the section that we've had upstairs, which is one that we have loved. It's mm -hmm. awesome, and it breaks down into three pieces, and so it's really nice to, if you have a tighter space, to be able to fit it. It's actually a fourth piece that can come as, mm -hmm. a, you can an use ottoman. It as an ottoman or a, a chaise piece. Yeah, it kind of makes a mm -hmm. chaise on either end. Um, so, so that's a one I really recommend and it's a neutral kind of grayish tone, which is right. It, it's, it's kind of walks that line of being a nice light color without being like one you're scared to have your kids touch. So that is awesome. And the pillows are so pretty. They are from Annie Selkie. I worked with them on this space and we brought in, um, this rug, I kind of layered rugs, but the lower rug is a nice one from them that is, is woven and has a lot of beautiful, just subtle color in it. Uh, they had that available in a few different colors and the pillows uh, kind of mixed a little pattern but kept them pretty neutral. So they have, um, have been a nice little accent in this space and they are also indoor outdoor pillows, which is cool. And so the fabric is really durable, even though it looks like linen, it's actually a polyester that can be washed and so you can just zip those off when the kids get them dirty which hopefully they don't but still they will clean it's up inevitable well. I know. <laughs> another feature that i love in this room is the light fixture this yeah. picture light um is from hudson valley lighting and i've talked about them before because i just love their their lighting it's kind of like artwork in itself and this one is comes in a bunch of different widths so you can get the perfect size um, for if you're going to use it over artwork or you can use them over shelves they're just a really nice accent piece and, and brings kind of that little classy detail into the space, which I love. Down here in the basement, we used um, Hallmark floors. Uh, it's an engineered hardwood, and this is actually the same floor that we used upstairs. I've been really happy with it. It's an oiled wood, so I did want to bring up that if you use an oiled wood, it's totally different than a typical hardwood floor that is sealed with polyurethane. What the oiled wood floor is, is it gives you a nice matte look, which I love. So your wood's not like shiny, looks more natural, a little more raw look, but you cannot wash them with water. I have had so many people that I have just come across that- um, Have ruined their floors. Yes, yeah. Yes. And I'm like, wait, it's an old floor, don't do that. 
Um, and sometimes even sometimes builders don't even know. And so I feel like it's my job to educate people on um, oiled floors. If you have oiled floors, you do not want to use any water. It's like oil and water. What it does is it takes that strips that oil layer, and the oil layer is what protects your floor from dirt and grime, whatever buildup. And keeps it looking the way it does. Yeah, yeah, keeps it like looking clean. Um, and so you want to use, there's a special cleaner, like most um, different flooring companies have a special cleaner for their oiled floors. Um, Hallmarks is called New Oil. I'll link it for you guys below. Um, it's great. It's all I've used on mine and they, they look amazing. That's why I did the same floor downstairs because I loved it so much upstairs. It's a great price point. It's really reasonable, but it looks high end, which is, is what we all aim for, right? right. So, um, so definitely uh, I wanted to mention that and the, the tone of this one is so pretty. It's kind of a subtle, a warmer, really pale um, variation in the wood and it is called Seashell. So it's Hallmark Floors uh, Ventura Line Color Seashell. Just as long as you follow those, those uh, directions, don't use any water. No, it's crazy. Then you your just... floors will look great. Yes, I am so passionate about this. <laughs> um, yeah, you vacuum it or sweep, whatever, just get it all clear and then just go ahead and use that, that cleaner on it. And then they have one that you can use every like four months. That's kind of a re, I think it's called Renew, um, Hallmark Renew, and it kind of like recoats. it. Thank you guys for checking out our family room in the basement. It's been a great space and um, hopefully it gave you maybe some ideas if you are finishing a basement or even a home. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of great ways, like I'm always saying, to pack character into spaces that maybe have a lower ceiling or are small, it doesn't really matter. You can definitely still get in a lot of interesting detail. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell and tune in next time for our next basement reveal.